am I the asshole for leaving in an Uber after what my husband did at the restaurant? Me, 31 female, and my husband, 35 male, have been married for 14 months. He's a middle school teacher, very close to his family, loves to help out, but can be firm at times. He adores his one and a half year old niece. He always babysits whenever he's got nothing to do. I help with whatever I can. We haven't gone out for a nice dinner in a while, so I asked if we could go out to a new restaurant and try their food and have a good time together. He agreed, and I immediately made a reservation and took care of everything. Since I couldn't take the day off, I left work early and went to meet him there at the restaurant. I walked in and saw my husband sitting with his niece in a car seat by the table. I asked him, and he said his sister had work and wanted him to watch his niece. His family were out of town, so there was no one else besides him. I noticed the restaurant staff were giving us looks since it's not a child-friendly restaurant, and I was worried the baby would cry or something. She was asleep at the time. We ordered our meals while he was calming his niece down because she started crying. He kept asking the waitress about stuff they don't have for his niece, and I couldn't take the looks from people that were now unable to enjoy their meals because of the noise my husband's niece was making. I would be so irate at this point yeah i'm like i'm you know i'm just like oh but the little beep beeps i know but in situations like that it's so uncomfortable i mean people go there to get away from all the noise that we hear that we have to deal with you know they yeah. get away so that they can just like be in their zen moment so it's just like as much as like we want to be accommodating and loving to children and people who have children and situations like that yeah don't go out Don't put other people through that because that's not fair to anyone else. Like they're trying to really just like unplug or or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Relax. Relax. Focus on their dinner. Not think about their child crying at home with their nanny or like whatever they're doing. Yeah. No. It's like you can pay for a nanny. (laughs) Yeah. And I get like trying to help your family out and like no one's available. But then then pay for Yeah. Then or pay for a nanny like a babysitter for for your family. If they're just like I can't afford it. Whatever. Just be like we have these plans. Um, so I would be upset, but I also wouldn't be, I wouldn't think he's a huge asshole or anything because he's trying to do the right thing. Like he's a good yeah. guy. Like he's, you know, like he's not like, he didn't show up with like his side thing. Like he showed up with a baby, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, he's trying to do the right thing. He's just being an idiot. Like they all are. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so she goes on to say his noise was like disturbing the whole entire restaurant especially when he started singing You're Welcome from the Moana movie oh, while no. swinging her. I got up to go to the restroom. I Wait, f- he sounds like such a keeper, though, like besides the setting. <laughs> great dad. Like, he's going to yeah. be a great dad if you guys decide yeah. to have kids. But at the same time, like, dude, read the room. This is a nice upscale restaurant. And you're fucking ruining the whole vibe for every other person yeah. there. Yeah. A few minutes later, I heard him arguing loudly. I went to see that he was actually trying to change his niece's diaper on the table. No. What? Oh, my God. I was just taking a nice little sip of my wine, enjoying it. (laughs) And then just registered, and I was like, no fucking chance. (laughs) Yeah. The waitress was arguing with him. I was in shock. The manager came after my husband, said he'd take a minute to get it done. The manager spoke to me and asked me to leave. I was livid. We left and I blew up outside. Did they pay? They must have. Or honestly, maybe the restaurant was like, Yeah, maybe they didn't care. Get the fuck out of here. Like, we don't even want your money. Right. Asked my husband. That's what they should do. Because at that point, like, if they're kicking someone out, like, who's, yeah. I mean, they shouldn't have let him in from the start. Like, that's, that's the issue. Like, from like like a host, like they should be like, I'm sorry, like, no children under 12. Like, you know, like, they need to make rules like that because it shouldn't have even gotten to that point. No. No, and you honestly, like, you have to explicitly say something for people to really get it. Like, if it's, oh, it's so nice, we're just going to assume no one's going to bring their kid. No. Always assume people will do what they want to do. Like, strictly have rules, no kids. Well, I worked at a a restaurant in Minnesota, and it's called Rosa Mexicano, and they have one in New York, one in L.A., um, which I've never been to, and and then a couple of other places. But in Minnesota – it's like they have these company-wide rules where this is the dress code. So if you're in New York, it's like you can't have like a cap on. You can't have like sneakers on or like, I don't know, just like stupid things. Like yeah. they were trying to like keep up like their upscale like vision. And then they also try to follow it to a T so that they weren't being discriminatory like based off of like, mm, well, that's – those sneakers kind of work. Those don't, you know? So yeah. it's like – 
it's one of those things where you just have to have an all over. If you're going to do something like that, you have to have an all around rule because otherwise it's just like people get heated. Oh, yeah. Remember when we went to Magic Castle? Oh, my God. Yeah. They have a strict dress code. And one of our friends, it was like for my birthday. And one of um, our friends was wearing something that just like wasn't cocktail attire. Mm -hmm. And so they made her tie like basically a wrap skirt. They made a tie yeah. around her outfit. And honestly, like. I thought it looked better. Like yeah. it looked, it looked no, it really looked good, good, but, but she, she was, lost it. She was so embarrassed because it was like, she already was a little bit nervous about her outfit from the start. Cause like, you know how sometimes you get ready and then everyone gets ready and then you, you liked your outfit and then you're like, wait, but I like theirs better. And now you don't oh, like I, your outfit as much. I try on 20 things before I leave yeah. the house. So, so I, she yeah, like, I get it. she had the outfit ready when, and like put it on whenever she was like, uh, like with all of us. So it was like, I think, I think it was one of those things where you're like, she was already kind of questioning her outfit, but we're like, no, it looks amazing. Like it looks great. Yeah. And then to like and have a hard time to, with yeah, it. Yeah. And then to have people and then like be like, sorry, actually you, I need to talk to you. Like that's so uncomfortable. Even though Magic Castle is just like so strict like that. Kind of embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, this one, like this guy just did it to himself. So OP goes on to say, we left and I blew up outside. Asked my husband why the table while people were sitting around eating. That's the other thing. If there's a poopy diaper and people at tables are next to you, just that's eating. That's insane. That's literally like now I'm disgusting. I'm, I'm so co I'm confused because I really liked this guy, but what? <laughs> like you don't have no idea how social norms, like social behaviors. Why would he not go to the bathroom? Yeah, that's confusing to me. Yeah, she goes on. He could have told me, and I would have picked a different restaurant that allows infants. He embarrassed me ruined dinner and got us kicked out. He started arguing with me like I was one of his students after I refused to get in the car, giving me zero out of 10 for my reaction and claiming I picked a bad restaurant. Okay, now I'm... You get a zero out of 10 for that reaction. Yeah. Apologize, you I fucked up. I don't like this. Now, I, I really, really liked him and now I'm just slowly... Yeah. Slowly starting to hate him. How do you not understand that? Oh, anyway, sorry. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> Said that he was helping his sister and I needed to understand that. After the argument, I took an Uber and went home. He went to his sister's place and called saying I shouldn't have left like that and make him feel guilty for wanting to help. But I didn't respond. I just want to say that my husband is the one who insists on taking his niece. He doesn't consider this babysitting. He just loves to be with her and take care of her. He said he wants us to adopt since it's our only way of having children. Why? Medical reasons. Mm. He obviously adores kids, so I understand his bond with his niece. But the restaurant incident was blamed on me. He thinks my reaction was over the top. And honestly, I have no idea why he thinks people should mind their own business when he's behaving like that in a public place. Yeah, that's... That's tough because it sounds like there's a lot more going on there. You know, like there's so much stuff internally. Like it sounds like he genuinely really wants a kid and it probably just makes him that's fine and dandy but you don't right. like your wife you guys haven't had any like quality time no I mean it's not acceptable it's not okay Ugh. however I do think that it sounds like he has a big heart and he's just like fiending to like you know love and take care and like raise like a child of his own for sure but at the end of the day like that's not your kid right that's your sisters and you can help out and be the fun uncle and that's great but you also have a partner. Yeah. Don't forget about your partner mm -hmm. and don't lose quality time. Yeah. It doesn't matter how long you've been together. You should still be bringing them flowers. You should still be planning date nights. You should still be showing that like you care mm -hmm. and putting effort into the relationship. And so like, that's fine. You want to bring the kid, at least tell her, give her heads up. So you can, like she said, pick a different restaurant and then don't change the baby's diaper at the table around other people that are eating food. Yeah. I completely agree. What? I, but in terms of like second chance or not, like I think absolutely a second chance. They're married. I just yeah. think that like he needs to recognize that he's in the wrong, but he needs to recognize it in a way that he can come to terms with it on his own because right now he just feels like, I think there's a lot of other things going on. So he's just, I feel like he's just sad. Like, well, I don't have a kid of my own and you don't care. And like, I just am trying to take care of a kid that I care about that's in my life. And like, you know what I mean? No, I think, I, I don't think even think it's that big. I think truly in his mind, he's like, it wasn't that big of a deal. Interesting. He's blaming her for overreacting. Can we do more polls on Instagram? Yeah. Because I, I would love to hear like how people think about taking a baby to a restaurant. Like if they think that that's okay or not. I think you, you know? can take a baby to a restaurant. No, a nice one. Like a oh, nice one like no. that. Yeah. Like, like I and, would be, no. 
And and then the next poll is, okay, well, if it's okay to bring the baby to a nice restaurant, which like there can be exceptions depending on the restaurant and the vibe, is it okay to change the diaper on the table? That's not okay. That's disgusting. <laughs> I would love to see how people feel about that. No, <laughs> like there's places where I go and I know I'm going to encounter crying kids. Airplanes. If I have a flight... I know with 100% certainty that there is going to be a screaming infant next to me. Well, Morgan used to be a flight attendant. I did used to be a flight attendant. And for some reason, I- We've lived a lot of lives. We're only 27. I know. (laughs) See, I do have a lot of experience, commenter, that said (laughs) my age shows. No, she was nice though. She was like, I think she probably just annoyed because she was just like, okay, I have issues with my husband. You're making me like feel like it's just the, as easy as just like, never mind. <laughs> yeah. But she was something like she gave us four stars. Or I don't know what episode she was giving a star to, but she gave four. That's still good. Give him the D divorce. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just I just feel like there's certain times you know that you're going to encounter crying kids and there's nothing you can do about it. Traveling, airplanes, like things like that. But when you're going to a restaurant that say like, you're spending a hundred bucks a person. Like that's pretty expensive. Even 50 bucks a person is pretty like, it's nice. Yeah. So it's like that just, you just shouldn't have to encounter crying kids when you're spending a hundred dollars on a nice meal. Yeah, I agree. Kids not having fun sitting in their car seat. Like take them to fucking Denny's or Perkins and get them a coloring menu. Yeah. That's fine. That's I, I was also a server at Perkins. You guys like (laughs) one of my favorite jobs I've ever had to this day was working as a server at Perkins. What? What about Maynard's? By no. the lake? No. You didn't like that one? No. I, I you made um, a lot of money. I did make good money. I was, God, I've, I've had a lot of jobs. I was a server at this restaurant on the lake in Minnesota and it was beautiful. And no, people there were snooty. Perkins was so fun. I made really good money. Just Did you serve chill. just a bunch of like families and yeah. happy people? Yeah, it was really great. Saturdays and Sunday mornings were the best because you yeah. get all the hungover people and they just like um, came in and they're just like fix my problems and left you a nice tip. Why does that sound so nice right now? <laughs> I'm, I'm craving pancakes. Do you yeah. have any? Yeah, we can make some. Hmm. Second chance. Nine o'clock on a Monday, but hey. <laughs> but uh, definitely he needs... Never too late for pancakes. He needs Sorry. Uh, some, <laughs> yeah. some work. Yeah, I think um, I think this is definitely not a a goodbye though. No, yeah, they're they're married. I think you know it sounds like you know they're happy otherwise, but he's a little he's got his head in the sand a yeah. little bit. He's gotta gotta have a wake up call. I liked when you were giving me advice. You went from uh, yesterday. You went from head in the sand to head in the clouds. And it's funny because every time you said that, because you switched off a couple of times, oh, I'm yeah. like I'm like okay, he's up here. Now he's down there. <laughs> I'm literally in, I'm visualizing it. Cause I'm a very like visual thinker. So I'm like, okay. Either way, he his head is not where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh. 